Hi, thanks for checking out this episode of Maintenance Matters. It's one of a series of short videos we've put together to help those people responsible for the maintenance of multi-unit family homes. In most cases, there is a legal obligation to maintain the building if it has home warranty insurance. Failure to maintain your building could limit your warranty insurance. And in strata title buildings, there is always a duty to maintain the building. Following the tips in the videos will extend a building's life and value and can preserve the integrity of any existing new home warranty insurance. This time we're talking about exposed wood structures. All wood is subject to decay or rot. It's a result of fungi growing and feeding on the wood fibers. The challenge is to slow that process down and the easiest way to do that is to manage the one key element the fungi need to survive, moisture. The more you can eliminate or control wood's exposure to moisture, the further ahead you will be in the war against decay. Bugs also prefer to dine on wet wood, so again, the drier the better. But how to keep exposed wood dry in our climate? Well, that's where maintenance matters. An annual inspection should be carried out by a qualified tradesperson who should check for the following. Evidence of water collecting on wood surfaces, including moss or algae or other building elements that do not allow water to readily drain. Rot or decay. Use a metal probe to check for soft spots in the wood. Peeling or cracking of the paint or stain used to seal wood surfaces. Exposure to moisture and proximity to soil. And if it's a deck or walkway you're dealing with, review the condition of deck boards, their connectors, support structures, and fasteners. And a reminder, any maintenance needed to wood structure should be performed by a trained professional. However, even with good maintenance, exposed wood structures will eventually require replacement, and the yearly inspections will be useful in predicting when that replacement or renewal will be required. And make sure whoever is performing the inspections keeps a record of what they found and any actions that were taken as a result. This kind of planning can save money in both the short and the long term. So those are some things for you to think about in order to get the most out of your building's exposed wood structures. Thanks for your time. I'll talk to you next time for another edition of Maintenance Matters. <music>